Thanks so much for meeting with me today. I have so many questions about connecting all these cables to a temporary pacemaker. Yeah, there is a lot to know about cables, temporary leads, and heart wires, and how to connect. Not to worry, I'll explain what you need to know. So first, let's talk about resources. You'll wanna have the cable compatibility guide. This has pictures of the cables along with the model numbers. Great, I see it has the lengths of the cables also. I'll be sure to get a copy. And these wires and leads connect to a cable which connects to the external pacemaker. So the pacing leads or heart wires don't go directly into the external pacemaker? Correct. A cable is always needed to connect the pacing catheter, lead, or heart wire to the external pacemaker. As you can see, the ends of the heart wire, temporary pacing catheters and leads, look very different. Yes, they look very different. So these are called unshrouded pins because they have exposed pins, and these are referred to as shrouded pins. I see the shrouded pins are covered and the unshrouded are not. Yep, that's the difference. With some ends of the heart leads and wires having shrouded pins and some having unshrouded pins, so different cables are needed. Okay, so different cables depending on if connecting to shrouded or unshrouded pins. Yeah, and with the various connections needed and the various uses for external pacemakers, there are many different choices for cables. There are various connectors on the cables that we'll discuss. There's also reusable cables and disposable cables. Reusable and disposable. Tell me more about that, please. Certainly. So disposable cables are for one-time use. Reusable cables can be cleaned and reused. There's a really simple way to tell them apart. The disposable cables are beige in color, and the reusable ones are gray. Okay, so the beige ones are only used once, and the gray reusable ones can be cleaned and reused. Yeah. Just be sure to check with your institution's policy on sterilization and disposal. The technical manuals also have information on how to sterilize the cables. But first, I'll show you how to connect a pacing lead to a 5433 cable. Why are the connector blocks different colors? The reason for the different colors is to be able to determine quickly which chamber is being paced. The blue cables are for atrial pacing, and the white cables are for ventricle pacing. Okay, so the same cable functionality, just color-coded for the heart chambers. Yes. Now, take a look at the end of this cable. Okay, it looks like they will accept a lead directly if it has exposed pins. Correct. And can you see the marks on each one? Yes, there is a positive and a negative port. Yeah, so go ahead and place the lead. Okay, I'll match the negative lead portion to the negative cable port and do the same for the positive portion. Great, and then you can use your fingers to tighten them by turning the thumb wheels until they're snug. Okay, and do I need a tool to make sure they're tight? No need for a tool, and actually it could also cause damage to the cable. Just tightening with your fingers is all that's needed. And when you're done, give a slight pull just to make sure they're secure. Okay, they're secure now. Great. Now you can connect the 5433 cable to the temporary pacemaker. That click indicates it's connected into the device. Just give it a slight tug to ensure the connection is nice and secure. Okay. No slipping here. You can also connect this cable to a pacing lead with shrouded pins. You just need to use the adapters. These adapters, or something similar, come packaged with the leads. You'll connect the adapters to the cable, then connect the shrouded pins on the lead. Okay. That connects to the cable. Tighten them in, yep. And then connect the shrouded pins to the adapters. Now, the cables all connect the same way to the device. You just want to be sure you always hear that click, and then slightly tug to make sure the connection is secure. Okay, so there is the connection of the 5433 cable with a pacing lead. Next, I'll show you how to connect with a heart wire. Now, heart wires are fixed directly to the cardiac tissue. Once the heart wire has been placed in the patient and is ready to be connected, the connecting end is divided at the perforation. So I am going to give you this. Great. And you can go ahead and divide the split end. Great, now we're ready to connect it to the cable. Please choose a cable that you think would work. Well, this one doesn't look like it would work. But this looks like this might be the right fit. 
Great choice. This is the 5487 cable, and it is the one to use with a heart wire. So go ahead and place it in the port. Remember to depress the button when inserting. Exactly. And there needs to be two heart wires to complete the electrical circuit. Okay. So do you know which port is pacing and which is ground? Let's see. Um, wouldn't the positive be the ground and negative is pacing for the system? Correct. Because the electrical current flows from negative to positive. But do I need a different type of heart wire for pacing or grounding? The same model of heart wires can be used. Just choose the one that'll be used for pacing for the negative port, and the other is placed in the positive port for grounding. And I also see there is a port labeled IS-1. Does this cable also accept an IS-1 lead? Yeah, so permanent pacing leads manufactured today are IS-1 leads. The 5487 cable does accept an IS-1 lead. Now let's practice placing an IS-1 lead. So I'll okay. give you this. Great, you so the port labeled IS-1 will accept an IS-1 lead. Yes, and this top port is used for connecting with an IS-1 lead. Now that I removed the pacing wires, I'm ready to place an IS-1 lead. So to place an IS-1 lead, you'll need to depress this button and insert the lead into the IS-1 port. How do I know it's secure? That's actually a great question. You'll need to verify through the side window that the lead pin extends beyond the connector blade. Okay, I see the lead pin is secure now. Great. So now you have practiced both applications with a 5487 cable and practice with a 5433. Now we'll discuss the 5846 cable. I see this has a connection different than the other cables. Yeah, the 5846 cable is used for connecting with temporary pacing leads, which have unexposed pins. You may also hear these as safety, covered, or shrouded pins. Now, these are color-coded with the black receptacle being negative and the red being positive. You'll need to match the cable and the lead colors when connecting. So go ahead and connect to the 5846. Okay, so... I want to get my shrouded pins available. I'll match the red to the red and black to the black. Great. So one more cable I'll show you today is the 5832S. This one has alligator clips and is typically used during surgery. I see. So these clip onto the lead. Correct. Do you know where to place the cable ends? Well, to be consistent with the others, I suspect that black connects to the negative pin and red to the positive. Correct. Great work, Christy. Okay, so now we've covered all the cables which are frequently used with temporary pacemakers. I hope that was helpful. Yes, thank you so much.